lovely hat. Uh, well, you have a lot of clothing on. Are you a little warm? Yes. That's how I prefer to be. Yeah, he runs hot. What's your name? My name is Dr. Creed. Well, I've heard a thing or two about you, Dr. Creed. I imagine you have Ooh. wearing a badge like that. Mm hmm I have. Now, I don't imagine with all your friends around here you're going to come in peacefully, are you? Depends. Are you going to try and arrest me? I guess I'd like to. Bad idea. Oh. <laughs> so you're going to put your hands up and follow my friend outside the telegram office, aren't you? Yep, I'm going to do that. Hmm. A little bit of a lesson in overplaying your hand, Missy. And what's your name, fella? <laughs> you really think I'm going to tell you? Well, I was hoping so. My name's Pitt. You ain't talking your way out of this shit. What's your name, lady? I do not believe you need to know that. You know, you have the choice of just letting me be on my way, not accruing any more, uh, of that time in Sisica. You think we care about that, do you? I spent mm. more than six months of my life in a little hole in that place. Yeah, I heard. Sweetheart, if you do me a favor and hmm. lighten this poor lady's load, all those firearms must be heavy. What? Not like me. Have you got a rope? Yeah. Want to use it right now? No. Not yet. Do you know a deputy McCarthy? I do know Deputy McCarthy. What is her first name? I honestly don't know. I'm fairly new and I've just know her by McCarthy. Would you know why she seems to be so upset with me? No, I, I'd have no idea. Hmm. She cried terribly when she learned I got out of Siska. What were you and Siska for? Great many things. I have access to reports. I'm sure you could do a bit of bedtime reading. Could I have my knife back? Why? It's very important to me. Do you want to know a funny story? Yeah. First time I went to Sisica, it was for murdering a man in St. Denis. You're probably wondering what's so funny about that story. Yeah, that's not funny. It's not. Turns up, lady. The funny part of the story is that I wasn't present, nor within a 500 meter radius of the man who was killed, and yet one of your department decided, due to a personal vendetta, to put me on the paperwork and send me there for a crime that I wasn't even near, let alone involved with. Did you order the charges? Did no. you order somebody to be murdered? No, I was sitting inside the Bastille reading a rather nice stew at the time. Unaware, blind to what was going on. And yet, well, what's... Deputy Ripley decided, despite not having seen me there at all, that I was there, directly involved. And I lost nearly a year of my life because she lied on paperwork. I'm told she's a senior deputy now. Well, I'm sorry, you, are you... She, yeah, she is. Funny, isn't it? Mm. How the incompetent are rewarded. Now you say that you are new to the department. Yeah, I am. Now I'm going to do you a favor that your department didn't do me. I am not going to find you guilty by association. Instead, I'm going to allow you to walk back into roads unharmed. Under one condition. Do it real fucking slow. Okay. Got that? Hmm. Doctor? Yeah. I think there's... Something a little different, though, about guilty by association when people follow you and your your actions and then being part of a law department. Ah, 
ah, so you're insinuating someone has a position of authority above others that they are somehow responsible for their actions as well. That's what you're getting at. Yes. Really? If somebody looks to you, you can influence her behavior. So I suppose the entire department is guilty by association with the actions of a Sheriff Harper then. Executing somebody in a jail cell. By that logic, Miss Quinton Ivy, it seems, uh, seems we might be correct. Well, it's a little bit different when there's 50 people in a department and there's a gang of, you know, oh, several gang, feet then. following you. A gang. A crew. Fine. A group. I suggest you go into the center of the office. Ask somebody who knows about your filing system and asks if you can read my notebook on my patients. Read through the life stories of those you'd refer to as part of my gang. And then you can see if you can't get off that fucking high horse of yours. Real slow, lady. Remember that. That ain't slow enough. It seems a bit fast. Didn't even get to read my fucking telegram. 